Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, this is for all 12 signs, whatever comes out. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or my tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, the links are in the description box below the video. I also have two other channels. I have a Cancer-only channel and a Libra-only channel. The links for them are listed below as well. So let's get into this for Aries. Okay, Aries, what do we got? What's coming out for you? Whatever comes out, what do you need to, what do you need to know? What's happening? I feel like you're obsessed with moving on. You're obsessed with taking a leap of faith with that devil in the, the fool. It's illuminating a relationship with that four of wands. It's like, it's, it's like, you know, you've looked back at past mistakes and it's time for you to move on. It's been a long time coming. So I feel like Aries, you might be deciding to leave a relationship. Like you're obsessed with taking that leap into a new relationship, right? But you were at a crossroads because it, there was deception. Because of the deception, there was a third party deception. I feel like you've been through something. Something that if you are obsessed with moving on, illuminating a relationship, looking back at the past, the mistakes and the in needing to move on for a long time, you knew that this person wasn't, did not have your best interest ap uh, at heart. So where the relationship was, was, is concerned, you're at a crossroads because of the deception with a third party. It's time for you to rebuild and heal. So you, you left somebody because they were a cheater. And now it's time for you to rebuild and heal yourself. You've made a decision. This is about new beginnings as well. So you decided to, you know, stand your ground and end a situation. You're cutting out somebody. I feel like you won't be talking to this person because you know the truth. You are walking away. You definitely are walking away. So Aries, I feel like you've had enough of somebody's bullshit and you are done. It is over. And you're going to stand your ground and you're going to leave. I don't know why this person's trying to block you from leaving, but I feel like that's, a, that's the case here. They may be trying to keep you um, in the relationship, even though they've betrayed you. So Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. What do we got, Taurus? Of course, you could be de dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. This could relate to a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. You can either be a same-sex relationship or your partner's in their masculine. Or this could just be you being in that I see it, I want it, it's mine, trapped in your head manifesting. Taurus, there you are. Divine timing because you're trapped in your... It's almost like you don't know... You don't know what you want because you're trapped in your head in divine timing.
you don't know if you if you want to move on from somebody from the past or if you want to manifest somebody from the past are you trying to pull them towards you or push them away I feel like there's a lot of confusion here because you're in that I see it, I want it, it's mine mode. I feel like that's you. I feel like the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles are one and the same person here. You're manifesting somebody from the past, but you're trapped in your head about moving forward with somebody from the past. You don't know if you want it or if you don't. You know you need to recover from a family situation. I feel like communication is key here. Taurus, I feel like this is, this is about emotionally communicating. You're trapped in your head about this. Now, I don't know if this is a problem that you're not, you're not communicating. Oh, I see why. I see why. You feel like there is no equal give and take with this person. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, quite literally. They could be in their masculine energy here or their feminine. Take it out, resonates with you. Could be a same sex partner, could be a regular, uh, you know, um, just a man or a woman or two men. Take it out, resonates. Because the harsh truth, you feel like there's no equal give and take here. You feel like this person, all they do is want to fight with you and argue and you want justice. See, I feel like there's love here, Taurus, but I feel like you don't know if you want to leave or if you want to stay. Because you feel like there's no, no matter what you do, it's not right. You're back and forth, but you're very discontent because you see things from a different perspective. You may end up closing out this cycle. You may choose to end this. You may choose to leave this partner uh, behind and, and move on to other things. Gemini. happen in Gemini ooh you're coming out large and in charge here Ugh. you're ending whatever attack or manipulation with an illusion there's an ending of the illusion where somebody was manipulating you with trickery here trying to win at all cost you're coming in as the king of swords here gemini you are stopping anybody's attack i feel like there was another gemini libra or aquarius who was obsessed with that devil energy Why do I feel like you've had enough? You're communicating there is no, e no equal give and take here and there's no rebuilding this family situation. Like this person is, they're trying to get you to, you're ending it though. You're ending communication. There is no equal give and take, no rebuilding this family situation because of the strength of the betrayal, how bad this betrayal was. You may have found out that your partner was doing trickery on you. And there are people who do that on their own partners. I find that very odd that people cast spells on their partners. You're wishing to block this person and leave them out in the cold. Now, this person you're dealing with could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Or they could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be married to this person. 
you're wishing to leave them out in the cold because you know the truth. You may have found out that they were doing trickery on you. You may have found out that they were doing spell work on you. Cancer. What's happening, Cancer? You're waiting for the competition to be cut out. You're waiting for the competition to be cut out. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the competition here. You're looking at things from a different perspective about a family situation. You are trapped in your head out in the cold about a third party. You wanted to reconcile with the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. It's almost like you want clarity that somebody walked away. But it's like you held on for hope for a long time. You want clarity that somebody has walked away from the third party. You've held on. You've held on to hope for a long time that this person would come. Now you're very guarded about the harsh truth. Here's what I feel like. This person left you for somebody else. Cancer. And you held out for hope for a long time. You, you, you held on to hope for a long time that this person would, would come back and reconcile with you after they break up with this other person. But I feel like once that happened, you've waited for this for such a long time, you're very guarded and defensive. So the harsh truth is, even though it's over, you're still no longer speaking to this person. Even though they've left the other person behind, you're not speaking. Instead of rushing towards them, you're not speaking to them. Right? You're blocking communication from them. See, something you've waited for for a long time, but you're so pissed off about it that you're not willing to even communicate about it. That's the problem. I mean... You know, it's almost like you, you, if you're holding on to hope for somebody to come back in your life and there's an opportunity for that to happen, you being pissed off and angry and blocking communication isn't going to get you what you want. It's really not, right? This person's going to be strategic about trying to recover, but you're discontent about that option. So it's almost like if, even if they try even if you wanted it, you're not willing. It's almost like you're, you're still, you're still angry. You're still wounded. You haven't healed. You know, it's, you are still carrying the, the pain from when they did it, like it was yesterday and it's not changed. That's why this isn't going to come back together the way you think it is. So Leo. best thing in the world that you can do is release yourself from a situation and move forward even though that sounds like it's painful and it's easier said than done the at the end of the day it's what you need to do because you have to worry about you first and foremost before you worry about somebody else 
I, it's like picturing when the plane goes down, you know, you're meant to take care of the child first before you put them. You have to put the mask over your mouth before you can put the mask over theirs, right? You got to take care of you first before you can take care of anybody else. Tell me about this for Leo. What's happening? Leo, you're in that queen of swords mode. You're trying to close a cycle here because you're intending to win at all cost. This is the center of the reach. You're intending to win at all cost. It's almost like you want to know that somebody else is unhappy. It's going to cause you a tower moment. You, by you being very strategic to cause an ending here, to close a cycle, it's almost like Leo is very strong. They're, they're very strong-minded. They're very strong-minded and temperamental. Yes, I can say that because my rising is a Leo, okay? So I am all about being a Leo here. Um, and yes, I am stubborn too. So <laughs> like you have no idea. So I can say this when it comes to a Leo, you're being very strategic to close. Like you, you're like damned if I do, damned if I don't, right? But you are being strategic about closing out a cycle. You're going to win no matter what. That's your mindset. You want to make sure that somebody else is unhappy though. The problem is there's a tower moment. Shit's hitting the fan. It's almost like you push somebody into the arms of somebody else because I feel like there's some regret of a new passionate beginning and you're at a crossroads now. Your judgment was to cut somebody out and leave them out in the cold. It's almost like you didn't expect them to react the way they did. You wanted to win and it was like you wanted them to miss you. You wanted them to grieve the situation, I think. You wanted to see that they were upset that you, you closed out the cycle, but I, you didn't expect them to run into somebody else's arms. See, your judgment was to cut them out and leave them out in the cold, but there's emotional communication. You waited for this to get a victory. You waited for them to chase you. You wanted them to chase you. You waited for emotional communication so you could have a victory, right? with somebody from the past, but their wish fulfillment. I feel like, I feel like this is you again. You wanted a victory with somebody from the past. Your wish fulfillment was an apology, but it's going to be a long time coming. I almost feel like you push them away and ended something because they hurt your feelings. But then the, the way they reacted to what you did, it was where you wanted to leave them out in the cold. They left you out in the cold. See, there's a reset. See, you can see there's a relationship deception. And there's a choice between two. You didn't know that this person had another person lined up already. How they, how they reacted to you was let you go. Like, I'll give her what she wants. I'll release her. I'll move on. And that wasn't what your intentions were here. Virgo. It's happening in Virgo.
So, Virgo, I feel like you're out in the cold discontent. You're an empress energy here. Trapped in your head about the truth. Moving forward, but looking back at the past and how it only offered you heartbreak. So, Virgo, if you feel like you're left out in the cold and you're in, dis you're in despair, okay, but you're trapped in your head about the truth, you know the truth. If, if you're moving forward, but you're looking back at past, and you know it only offered you heartbreak, how is that not, like, you freed yourself from something that was terrible. And where you might love this person, how they treated you was pr pretty bad. I feel like you've got to master your emotions because you always had to, you were always very guarded and defensive because somebody was obsessed with a third party reconciliation. You're not speaking to this player. Somebody who was in and out of new passionate beginnings causing a tower. It's almost like you got, you got to realize that you may have had feelings for somebody that only had feelings for themselves. You know, sometimes people put on this false, false front and, and they act like, you know, they get you to fall in love with them, but they're, they're only one they're in love with is themselves. And so maybe that you took the trash out inadvertently and didn't even realize it. Libra, what's happening with my Libras? You may have somebody from your past coming back around Libra. So there's a king of wands here. It could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Wanting to rebuild. They want to off. They want to come and be with you. They want to be with you, right? They want to rebuild. They want to be with you. They want to be with somebody from their past. But all they're offering is burden. They're offering you burden. So just know this person's probably broke. Wants somebody to put a roof over their head, wants a hot meal, wants a, a warm body, but they're not bringing anything to the table. They're not, I can tell you right now. <laughs> Libra, why do I feel like you're in that, that emperor energy? You're taking control. It's illuminating you taking control of this tower. Okay, so why do I feel like you see bullshit coming? Someone's rushing towards you for a new passionate beginning. You're mastering your emotions. You see things from a different perspective. That's a wait and see kind of thing. It's a wait and see kind of thing. You're not interested in jumping into anything. This person's rushing in to see what they can. I, I think you're waiting to see this person's true colors come out before you proceed, right? Because they want to rush in and have a new passionate beginning and you're like, mm, I don't think so. Wait and see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here, right? You see their deception. You know this person's up to no good. So like you're not, you're taking control of that tower, right? They may try to offer you a new beginning, but there's no equal give and take here. There is no equal give and take here. This person saying, oh, let's start over. Let's do it. No, what are you bringing to the table? So Libra, you are the table, the chairs, the kitchen, the living room. You, you understand what I'm saying? You are the whole package and they're bringing nothing to the table. Nothing. 
And the sex ain't that good either. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're like, and that isn't even any good. So I ain't even bothering with this nonsense. Okay, so Scorpio. What's happening, Scorpio? Okay, what do we got, Scorpio? I don't like that. Oh, someone's messing with you at work. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. You're going to get karmic justice here, Scorpio. So someone's playing mind games and manipulating a situation at work. Uh, moving forward, there is a queen of wands, Aries Leo Sag, watching. Watching. Uh, this person is being deceptive. They're taking that leap of faith, obsessed with closing out a cycle. Like this person wants to get you fired. There's the boss man. There's karmic justice here because I feel like your boss knows. The boss is arguing in your favor. This is a, heart, a heartbroken third party at a crossroads about the commitment. Like this person's talking some smack to your boss and they're mad that the boss is not going to fire you. The, they're mad that there's an argument where they're heartbroken, a heartbroken third party, right? That's the third party who's trying to cause drama, trying to get you fired, but they're going to get karmic justice. It's going to happen. There you are, Scorpio. There's going to be an opportunity here. Whatever attack is there, whatever they're doing to attack you is going to end. So this person, I feel like you're a masculine Scorpio. You feel betrayed by this person, by the way. This person's trying to get you fired behind your back. Your boss is arguing in your favor, though, and they're mad that the, that the boss isn't listening to their, their complaint. So, Sag. Okay, what do we got, Sag? Mm. Say your partner could have moved on with a player that they were cheating on you with. Say Queen of Pentacles. Now, now you could have been Sagittarius. You could be a wife here, or this is your wife has moved on with a player. They were juggling, right? Looking back at past mistakes, there is no equal give and take, right? Now they may be looking back that there was no equal give and take with the player. This is somebody who was there for a good time, not a long time. So this person may have left you thinking that this player was going to, you know, offer them a relationship and that relationship never came because this person's not there for a relationship. They're there for a good time, right? You have the strength to stand your ground in this relationship. It's in, it's over. It's over. You know, this person, you know, there's an argument there. It's over. This person may want to come back to you. They may want, they may want a new beginning with you. Their wish fulfillment is to communicate. 
But Sag, I feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder because of the betrayal. You're giving them a cold shoulder because of the betrayal. They left you and they wanted to run off with a player and that player wasn't offering them anything but a good time. Now they're coming back trying to stand their ground with you and about the relationship, but it's over and you're giving them the cold shoulder because of their betrayal. Capricorn. Capricorn, what do we got? Ooh. Free Empress, there is somebody doing devil's magic on you. You're going to find out. You're getting clarity about who this third party is. So I feel like you have somebody who's doing trickery and you're going to find out, going to get clarity about who this third party is causing an ending with the, the, the emperor energy. This is a twin flame. Um, there's a tower moment. You see that tower. You see the tower and you're mastering your emotions over the, over the truth. This person who's coming at you is a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius taking that leap for a new passionate beginning. So you have somebody you're finding out all kinds of shit about this third party and what they're doing right causing an ending and breaking up the, i mean that shit hit the fan with that tower you see that and you're mastering your emotions trying to figure it out with the, what the truth is about this person I feel like your person is going to realize that they were tricked or they were duped, okay, with that, with that magic being done to them. Because the relationship with you, the truth about the relationship with you is that this person is in despair or has some regret and they're needing to master their emotions because they're in love with you, but they walked away from you for a third party. I feel like you guys are going to communicate that you know that it was a, you know what they were up to. Guys, the way you can tell when something is, is gone awry and where you're blaming your person for somebody else attacking or, or throwing love spells or this or that, understand that when something is going really well, like on Monday, the two of you are having a wonderful night together. Everything is smooth as silk. And then the next morning, all of a sudden, everything is gone to hell in a handbasket, okay? All of a sudden, there was something just out of the blue. It could have been the most minor thing all of a sudden blew up like crazy. Then you know that spell work's been done, okay? So it's, is it this person? No, they're trying to master their own emotions about this. They're trying to figure it out for themselves, Right? They want to communicate about the illusion. They feel some kind of way about you. Now, I understand when somebody's doing trickery. Capricorn, you're under the bottom of the deck. When, when someone's doing trickery on you and you feel some kind of way, like your feelings towards your person is there's love there, that love doesn't die. 
you're still feeling some kind of way about that person, but why would you be with somebody you're not in love with? Because you're being pulled in that direction against your will, right? That's affecting free will. Now, both of you have to understand what's really happening there. Not just one. Somebody can say, oh, well, he's just cheating on me. That's not necessarily the truth. Okay, Aquarius. What's happening? Aquarius. You're working on your strength to communicate to somebody your wishes. You're wanting to tell your, your person what you really want. But it's almost like you need courage. You're feeling a little guarded about a new beginning. I almost feel like you're waiting for a boot to drop here. Aquarius, I don't know if you've been through something really bad, but when you're, when you found your, your true love basically, and you're ready to tell them what you want and you're kind of resisting that new beginning because you've been betrayed before waiting for justice, emperor energy, this is your true person. Yeah, you might have gone through some lessons, but you can't block the one you love because of something you've been through. You can't blame the person in front of you for the past, right? Because you want, you've had tower moments, you know, things have happened to you and you want justice for these tower moments, but from somebody else, it has nothing to do with the person that you're with or that you want to be with. This person's walked away from you. This person it's over, right? So I don't know if you're waiting because you're afraid that this person's going to come back and try to cause more drama. Maybe that's why you're waiting to tell somebody how you really feel. But you're the emperor here. Y you know, you have control. You have the ability to slay the dragon. So, so slay the dragon. Make sure that tower is, is dumped on this queen of wands, uh, the queen of swords head. Do you see what I'm saying? You want to keep them away, make them stay away not worry about them coming back and causing more drama, right? It's time for you to stand up and offer. There you are, Aquarius. This isn't this isn't you, Aquarius. This is you. You're the in the you're in the masculine energy here. You're closing that karmic cycle of toxicity. You're leaving that behind you, right? And you're blocking it. You're letting go of somebody who was destroying your life basically. And you know, you're afraid to offer something to the one you love because you don't want to start it all over again, a new cycle. You're not, you're going to end the old cycle and everything will be fine. Pisces, what do we got? What do we got, Pisces? Your person has a relationship with the option, Queen of Wands, third party. There may be somebody from your past. You need the strength for a long time where King of Pentacles is concerned. You've got to master your emotions on rebuilding. You're wishing to communicate a new beginning, but you're worried. So I feel like the person you were dating has moved on to somebody else, and you're thinking about somebody from your past, and you're wanting to communicate and rebuild with somebody else. Look at things from a different perspective. Communicate with this person.
you're very solid, stable, dependable. I feel like this person, this you guys might be a true match. This king of with the king of pentacles, not with the king of wands. So I almost feel like let go of what doesn't serve you and go for what you want is kind of the lesson here. Pisces, let go of what doesn't serve you. And if there's somebody that you kind of had feelings for that you, you know, had a past with, you know, if you want that person back, it's time to open it up and communicate. Look at things from a different perspective and communicate what you want. So guys, I'm going to leave that there. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay blessed.